Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about creating a macro, which I've done many. But somebody's having a problem with, uh, I think they actually have 2019 and their macros won't work. So I thought I'd kind of go over the steps. I've got, I just created a rectangle, and I've got a macro already that puts it to the uh, left edge. And uh, I'm going to put one to the, well, matter of fact, I just rebooted. So evidently it's not working, so we'll do one to the left top edge. So, and I've, since I rebooted my macro toolbar is gone, so I'm just going to go where yours would be normally. Go to tools, and in 2019 they call it a script. We're going to start recording. We're going to name it top left. And press OK. It already exists, but we're going to write over it, I guess. Well, let's do top right then. Evidently, it's, I'm having a trouble with that. We're going to go top right. I don't have it spelled right, but it doesn't matter. Now, when you're creating a macro, there's no hurry. There's, you know, you're, you're recording, but it's only recording steps. So we're going to click on our item, and we're going to go top right. So I'm going to have object origin to the top right. My laser bed is 40, so I'm going to tell it to go to 40 to 0, which is that corner. Now, to make it work with any size, you need to go to Object, Align and Distribute, Align and Distribute Docker, and we want to click Align it Right and Align it Top and Page Edge. Then you just go to Tools, Scripts, and Stop Recording. We'll get rid of this. We'll set our rectangle just anywhere. And then, well, I actually, I was trying to show him something. I actually skipped a step. When you're writing a, let's say, start recording, this right here should be highlighted, should be global macros when you put in your name. Then to get to the macro, after you've recorded it, go to Tools, Scripts, and go down to scripts. Now, in 18 or below, it's Micro Manager. And let's just close this up. So this is the way you're probably, it looks. Click on that, go to Global Macros, and then go to Recorded Macros. And then here's Top Right. And it put it to the top right. Now, if I want to make a keystroke for that, which I really don't, but we'll go ahead and do one, assign a keyboard stroke, and it's going to open up this window, and we're going to, oh, let's say, Shift R, Distribute Right. So we don't want to use that. Let's go Control R. That's repeat something. I'm going to Alternate R. I've actually got two of them. Alternate R. Assign it. Press OK. Now let's put this in and just test it. So I'm going to go Alternate R. And it puts it at the top left corner. So think about where you're, you know, when you started out, it put it in global macros. And then you need to go to open that up and then open up recorded macros. And here's my top left that evidently isn't working. Oh, there it is. It's, uh, I've lost my keyboard shortcut for it, but it still works. So let's sign a keyboard shortcut for that. And I'm just going to use the escape key. Nothing is assigned to it. Press OK. I'm going to hit the escape key, and it's going to put it top. And then alternate R and put it to the other side. That could be pretty handy if you were doing, maybe you could control D, and you could move them around like that. Anyway, I hope that helped that gentleman out a little bit. He's really been frustrated. Uh, so just remember in... 19, they're called scripts. In 18 and below, they're macros. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.